Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back another Focus SD video, and this time around, I'm going to show you how I made my Sync 3 theme the golden theme that you see on Lincoln vehicles. It even has the Lincoln splash screen when you're turning on the vehicle and turning it off. Now, I found this information on the F-150 forms. There's two ways to do it, a temporary way and a more permanent way. The temporary way is very, very temporary, and it only shows the theme from when you're driving the vehicle for that current session. When you actually turn it off and turn it back on, it will go back to the original theme. Now, the second way is more permanent. And you can be undone. You're going to use Forescan, and you're going to need a Windows computer to do so. You're also going to use some type of... OBD2 adapter. I use an OBD Link MX. You can use whatever you want to use. Go to that form. I have a link in the description. There's more adapters that you can use that people say work with it. Now, in this video, I'm not going to show you how to download Forescan. I'm not going to show you how to get it up and running. That is in my previous video. Click on that video. I have a link in the description for that, and I'll have an end card for that. That video is titled The Double Horn Honk. That's my Double Horn Honk video. I go in depth about how to download Forescan, what it is, and you know, things like that. So go watch that video for more information about Forescan and how that app works. So first for the more temporary way we're going to get inside the diagnostics of the Sync 3 system. So we're going to hit the eject and the right track button right here. You're going to hold that down and you're going to see some craziness. It's going to start to do a test of all the speakers in the car just in the test. We're going to go to testing settings here and then here you see there's theme theme you can actually change the theme right here if you wanted to change it right there you could do so but that's not what we're going to do uh, at the moment what I'm going to do is make it a little easier for you if you go this route with changing the theme instead of going the other route uh, just click enable testing settings here and then we're going to go back and exit out of diagnostics um, you, you don't actually have to go back and hit exit out of diagnostics in order to get out of it, but that's just what I do. So in order to get back to that screen, we're going to go to settings and testing settings setting shows up right there. I'm going to click on testing settings here. And right now, four timeless is the one that it defaults to. So that's default. If I want to change it to four classic, all I do is click on that and it'll instantly change over to four classic. Now four classic is pretty much the same, but down here you see these it changes colors. Everything here is a little different color. With Ford Timeless, everything's blue. With Ford Classic, things are different colors. And this bar down here actually changes colors. And of course, like I said before, this is temporary. So if I were to shut off the car, I'm going to simulate shutting off the car right now. So I got out of the car. It's the next day. I'm going to get back inside the car. I go ahead and turn the system on. My phone just rang, by the way. So I'll go ahead and turn my system on. The car is running. It's loading up. This is just a simulation, though. I'm not going to actually turn on the car. It takes a little bit, but you see it will default back to Ford Timeless. These two colors down here are not colorful. They're just blue. So I'm going to go back here, go back to testing settings, and you can change it. Now, for me, I like the Lincoln brown theme. That's what we originally came here for. If you scroll down, you'll see Lincoln. You'll see Black Label, Presidential, and Timeless. Um, they all have the same brown theme, they just have different splash screens. So, I'm going to click on Timeless, it's going to change over to the Lincoln theme, beautiful theme. And I'm going to simulate shutting off the car by turning off this, uh, the audio system. You'll see it says Lincoln when it turns off, nice. And that camera's not picking it up, but it actually has like, the background is not a solid black, the background is like, uh, it's hard to explain it, but it's not a solid black like you just saw on that camera back there, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn everything back on. As you can see, it defaults back to normal. Now, just to show you, all this stuff is pre-installed onto the sync system, and this is how this stuff works. All the sync systems have these little settings pre-installed, so you just need to get to them and operate them. But, of course, it's not permanent. You see Shelby uh, R, Ford Shelby R, if you wanted to do that. It's the same kind of theme, but it's just that splash screen is there. So when you turn off the system, it will say GT350 on it. And then it shuts off. It's a really nice little thing. But now the sleuths on Ford, the Ford F-150 form have gone ahead and found the hexadecimal uh, numerals to go ahead and make these more permanent. Now, I'm going to show you the link, the Lincoln one to have the brown theme and it's going to have the Lincoln uh, splash screen on it. So if you did want to keep the Ford theme but change the splash screen to say GT350 or anything like that, you can also do that. Uh, the way that I'm going to show you how to do this is going to be a similar way to change just the splash screen without changing the theme. But this video is about changing the theme. But just go to the form in the link in the description and then uh, you'll see how to change 
uh, either splash screens and other stuff inside the car. But you know, just 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 keep in mind though, those are, those are F-150s, so everything that they talk about you can't necessarily do. What we're gonna do is turn the car on. We're gonna turn the actual ignition on. I'm gonna go ahead and open up, get this camera started. Now I usually just go ahead and turn off this background. We're gonna double click on four scan here. We're gonna click this okay message. Four scan's gonna run its little diagnostics at first. Actually, no, you, actually first we need to go ahead and mount the uh, Bluetooth adapter to it. So let me put this down here. Down here on the left, there's that little button right there. You click on that. I keep missing it, goodness gracious. There we go. And then you click OK. And boom. Four scan is going to run its little tools. It's going to find everything. It's going to show you DTC codes and stuff like that. You know, you check all that stuff out. But we're just going to let this go for a minute. And then I'll come back with more what you need to do. So API is what we're going to change. As you can see right there, accessory protocol interface module. So we're going to head on to there. Click on this chip on the left. That's the chip. The APIM is already selected. We're going to click this play button down here. The play button though goes. We're going to click on OK on this screen. This is a message just telling you to be careful because you can seriously jack crap up. So we're going to click OK. And then this is what you need to change. Now, first of all, if you come here for your first time, I really, really suggest that you click save all down there. Click save all, follow the on-screen instructions to actually save all these parameters because if you need to if you go haywire and mess something up or you change something that's incorrect, then click on that. You can load all down there at the bottom. Load all, find out where you saved your original file and then load it all back up and then click write all that's on the right and you're gonna write everything back to the module and everything's gonna go back to normal. Now on the screen, I'm going to put exactly what you need to change. There are two parameters you need to change. There are two hexadecimal numerals that you need to change. The X's that you see mean that the numbers that you, the numbers and letters that you see on here, just keep them the same. Do not change any of them. So if you see an X, then keep those previous numbers the same and just change the actual number. So the first one we're going to change is 7D03. 7D0301 and you see it there 7D0301 that's the first one we're going to change now what we need to change that to is the second one here instead of having a 1 there it needs to have a 2 now we're going to also change 7D0102 7D0102, those numbers right there, all we're going to do is make that first one an 8. So, so 7D0102, the first numeral becomes an 8. And then 7D0301 in the second column, there's a 2 instead of a 1. Um, if you did not have, you know, whatever your numeral was, just change that to a 2. So it's going to be something and then 2 right there. So what we're going to do, after we finish all that, is write all of this back to the module and of course write all is down there at the bottom so we're going to click write all it's going to give you a little warning message we're going to say heck yeah we're ready to go let's do it i'm going to write it all it's going to tell you the power cycle you're going to click ok now the sync system here it actually does go black but it will come back on um i usually kind of just wait for it to come back on see it's going to say lincoln and then that's the splash screen it's going to be like that then i'll go ahead and turn it off open the door up and let everything just wait a minute. Um, now, as far as this goes, I'm not too sure if you need the power cycle for this, but that's just what I do. And that's it. You now have your Lincoln Golden theme with your Lincoln splash screen. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm gone. I see you playing that old school outcast. Go on, get it. Yeah, I'm afraid like I'm scared.